Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, American Viscountess. If you're new to this channel, I am Julie Montague, the American Viscountess. I married into the British aristocracy over, uh, well, 20 years ago, nearly 20 years ago. Um, so welcome back to my channel. Uh, again, be sure to subscribe to my channel, turn notifications on to be, uh, um, to make sure that you're the first to know when a new video comes out. And of course, I would love you to hit the like button as well. So here we are, it is all about the new year. Yes, 2022. It's been for all of us around the world, a really difficult um, uh, past couple of years, nearly two years now. So we're coming into 2022, um, I hope with uh, a lot more hope. Um, and an opportunity for us to reset and really recharge and to relook um, at really ourselves and what we want to move forward with in uh, 2022. So five of my top New Year's uh, tips, if you like, going into the new year. These are tips that have really worked for me, uh, something that I've just always incorporated um, each and every year. Uh, no matter how difficult the year before was. So first and foremost, it's all about setting an intention. I do like to think of an intention as a little bit different than setting a resolution. I always think of a resolution as something more specific. So it can be, you know, I'm going to lose, you know, I think for a lot of people it's about losing X amount of weight or I'm gonna be exercising three times a week and doing all these sort of smart goals. But really for me as a yoga teacher, um, uh, an intention is, I like to think of it as more powerful than that. An intention is something really that's pulling at your heart and it might be something that you're striving to be or to feel. And I always like to think of an intention as an I am statement. So for example, if one of the things that you struggle with is self-confidence, perhaps your intention could be I am confident. So it's something that needs to be in the present moment, regardless of if you believe in it right now, but it's something that you want to be working towards. So again, it might be something along the lines of if you have fear um, in a, a lot of aspects in your life, it might be, I am courageous. And, and it can be, of course, a longer sentence than that. But I always like to think of an intention of really intending to be or to feel um, uh, that feeling. So again, take a moment now to think of something that you want to encapsulate in your life, that you want to become, that you want to start to feel in your everyday life. And it's an I am statement. So it could be multiple words. I am strong. I am empowered. Um, I'm an incredible human being. And it's that, that really intention can really be with you uh, throughout every single day of your 2022. And then secondly, I want you to think of a word that you can give back to the world, to your friends, to your families, to your coworkers, to um, somebody that you see on the street, and you can start to incorporate that in your everyday life. So maybe it's compassion. You're going to give compassion, more compassion to um, to the world or to, um, you know, in your grocery store, um, when you see the person at the cash register slash till, um, you know, it's giving that person more compassion or your postman or even, again, your parents or your children or your friends. I'm just using compassion as an example. But again, if there's a word out there, maybe it's hugging and you're gonna hug more um, than you did over the past two years. But what can you give back to the world? And I think that that's really, really important as well as we are creating an intention for ourselves, but also in one sense, we want to give back to the world. So number three, something that you want to leave behind. So 2021, I think for many of us was again, another difficult year. So what do you want to literally leave behind? And you have to make sure that you are actually going to leave this behind. And it could be, um, you know, a situation, it could be a relationship. Um, it could be something that you know isn't serving you um, uh, internally within. And a really good idea around this is to write it down on a piece of paper to then fold it up and to light it on fire. 
So again, this is a really good ritual, especially if there's something that's tugging at your heart that doesn't feel good, that is weighing you down, that is a burden. Um, again, this is really an opportunity for something for you that you are just like, that's it, I need to leave this behind in order for me to move forward with my own life and with my intention and with the word that I wanna give back to the world. I need to drop this completely, this situation, this relationship, um, whatever it may be, only you know that. But make that decision to, um, again, leave that in 2021. And then, of course, there is uh, number four is really to give uh, a toast. Um, and I've got my toast here. And a lot of times we toast to good health and to you know a prosperous new year but i think more than ever it's really toasting to somebody that we might have lost and i think for many of us around the world especially now we have lost um friends families co-workers friends of friends and really it's maybe it's somebody um close to you um, and it might not have happened uh, the loss might have not have happened in 2021 but somebody who's really um who has been close to your heart for your entire life or to the a large part of your life so getting your glass ready this year and actually toasting a loved one and toasting somebody who made an impact and a powerful and significant impact on your life so toasting to somebody um, that you've lost and that's what I'll be doing this year as well my toast will be about that person rather than about me or moving into the new year this is the toast to the person who's made an impact on my life. Really last, but of course not least, is to get dressed up um, or to get gussied up. Um, and I think that's such an English word. Um, I love it, but to get dressed up and I get something sparkly on, I've got my sparkling earrings on, um, I put a little bit of sort of uh, ready orange lipstick on, I've got my gold uh, vintage velvet dress on, um, and just to get, you know, sort of dressed up, gussied up, to really celebrate all of the above. Celebrate the person um, who you've lost, but toasting to them who has made a huge impact on your life. You know, making sure that you are, um, of course, uh, have that word that you want to give back to the world. Uh, and of course, uh, setting that intention. And then, you know, all of the above, just making sure that you're incorporating all of that while you're dressed up in, um, you know, in something that makes you happy to be. And I know for me, for uh, in particular, this dress does make me happy because I know that it was worn probably by several other people. And I'm sure that they had wonderful, amazing stories and an incredible um, life. And so I feel quite good that I'm still carrying on whoever um, in some way or another wore this dress before me. So those are really my five top uh, New Year's Eve tips in order to go out and really celebrate and embrace this new year to come. So thank you again for joining me all this past year uh, here on American Viscountess. I do hope that you've enjoyed my many vlogs on really my life as an American Viscountess, my travels uh, to Italy, uh, of course, uh, our Country House series, American Viscountess, where I'm visiting um, many uh, homes across the UK. So do look forward, and I look forward to many, many more of those. Um, we've got uh, such exciting homes in store, which I'll be uh, revealing later, that I'll be filming at. Uh, we've got, I mean, incredible historic houses that uh, have said yes, that I'll be filming at very, very soon and I'll be revealing those homes here uh, on YouTube where we will be filming at 2022 and many, many more vlogs uh, here on my channel. So every Thursday, you will be getting a new vlog here uh, from me as my life as an American Viscountess, but really exciting stuff that we have for those vlogs. So there's a lot on the horizon here. Uh, and of course, a sneak peek into my house in Italy as soon as I can get back there. But a lot on the horizon here for the American Viscountess channel. And we cannot wait to share it with you all. So here's to all of you for subscribing to my channel. And in particular, to the American Viscountess patrons. Um, thank you so, so much for all of your support in helping to make 
these episodes and these vlogs possible. They are, you patrons are a huge support in making this possible. Without you, we would not be able to film in particular at these country houses. So if you are interested in becoming a patron of American Viscountess for 2022, do check out the link be below, uh, patreon.com forward slash American Viscountess. And cheers to all of you for a happy and prosperous 2022.